I've actually been conducting some randomized controlled trials within the consulting industry, and it is very clear that there is a huge impact from AI. We are actually finding that consultants are able to do more work and higher quality work by a pretty large percentage uh, by just using AI to do their regular jobs. Now, it's still important to keep them in the loop. There are still mistakes the AI makes, but it can be pretty impressive. Let's just take an example of uh, trying to do a report on industry. So let's say do a report on the precision agriculture industry in the style of a uh, BCG industry report, just to pick a, a consulting company, but we can pick your own. Uh, and let's see what happens. So we're going to end up seeing that it's going to run this whole analysis. Now, the advantage of Bing is since it's GPT-4, the most powerful AI model, but it's connected to the internet, it can actually do real research. That doesn't mean there's not going to be errors and mistakes, but from working with consultants, this saves you many, many hours as it creates the entire set of information for you. So here we get a nice executive summary and all of the data that we need on this market. And again, you'd want someone to check this over in detail, but even just doing this basic set of research takes a tremendous amount of time. And you'll notice that it's also going to provide sources for all of this information. And this quality of this, one of the things I, I like to emphasize is even if you think that today, this is not enough, uh, that there's too many errors, AI is getting better all the time. So we're getting a full on report in the style of, uh, of this entire industry here. Um, and we just skipped about a week of worth of work to get here. And of course, checking it's important, getting more details important, but it is pretty impressive. Let, and then I can show you also how we can do this from a uh, coding perspective, because the AI actually does all this data analysis and coding. So let me give you a couple examples of that as well. And we'll let this report continue to run because you could see it would happily keep going for pages and pages about all this material. If we don't like anything, by the way, we could go back and say, please concentrate on a single market or um, give me the data source for each point. And it will do that here. So it looks like it's actually creating a table for us too, which I wasn't expecting. They can be downloaded right to Excel. Um, so if this isn't changing how consultants work, I'm not quite sure what will. Um, as we get all of this detailed reporting information that I didn't even ask for, all I asked for was a report. So let's go and dive. Well, while this chugs away, let's work, let's switch over to a, a little bit different system. First, just to show how basically it works, let's say I am about to speak to a group of management consultants make something with code that will impress them okay here we go and um they might be interested in a data driven tool how about an interactive dashboard for visualizations of a data set okay it's going to apparently create an entire visualized dashboard for us on the fly sure just make it cool and look nice Okay, it says open other ideas. So it's going to create a visually uh, a visual dashboard um, and it's going to create a code. Actually, I'm going to switch back here just for a second and we'll say a file I can download at the end. Okay, so we're going to resubmit this here and we want the full documentation. Okay, it's going to create a um, a full interactive dashboard. Apparently it's going to be a HR analytics dashboard because it says that'll be interesting. You'll notice it's going to go through all of these steps. It's going to load and clean the data set, perform an analysis, conduct the analysis, and, um, and do all the work for us. So creating all the code we need to actually run this ourselves, creating histograms, statistics, everything we need here. I'm going to pause for a second while it does this because I'm going to actually then tell it to do this in a way we can download and, and play it. Um, so just, this will just take a second. You can see at the end of the data analysis that it's doing, it's producing a whole bunch of information for us, including very cool graphs. As a former management consultant myself, back before I became a professor, uh, I actually have a lot of deep kind of experience with this field over the years. And I have worked with McKinsey on AI and they've featured me. I've worked with BCG. I've spoken to people at many of the other major management consulting firms. Uh, and a few specialized firms in different fields. So it's a field I, I know pretty well and, and I'm very happy to adapt and talk to. I think that the important thing to realize is that AI is really, if it was built for any field, it's built for consulting because your consultants can do more, can do deeper analysis. It lets you extend into more high end value add analysis rather than doing tedious grunt work. 
uh, and really extends the capabilities of consultants in exciting ways. It gives people who aren't data analysts, data analysis ability, it gives your analysts even more ability than they had before. It lets people create reports and codes and do research in ways that really supercharge consulting. And then you start to add in some of the really new exciting capabilities of being able to look at images, read in documents, compare massive data sets, and it is going to be a huge sea change for the world of consulting.